Hi there, great that you're following along with my uh, multiplication table project. I'm just about to create my uh, real tables based on the ERD that I uh, throw um, on this piece of paper. So I will transform this ERD into real Oracle tables, foreign keys and all that. And I typically use um, uh, an application, a packaged application called Quick SQL for that. So let's run Quick SQL. And I will look at my ERD and I see, for example, um, I need a table called role. So I have role and I have a column called name. And so you see here that on the right, it generates me um, the DDL to create my tables. Um, I typically use a prefix so I can um, define that multiplication table. So let's use MTL. Uh, I, what I also typically do is um, I have audit columns. And uh, this is an Apex project. So I'll do this. So now it will generate um, a bit more. So it has the prefix. It created the audit columns and it also fills the audit columns with um, if I have an APIC session, it will take the app user. Uh, otherwise, it will just do the Oracle user. So I have role, I have name. What is else? Okay, so I have a user table. In my user table, I have email. Um, I have a password. And I have verification code. Verification code. Um, that's generated as varchar to four thousand. That's way too much. So let's change that to two fifty five. And for my password, uh, I will use the same thing. My email, the default uh, Quick SQL already con uh, new. Email is 255 and name is the same thing, uh, but it needs to be not null. I always want it lowercase and it has to be unique. So in the what's next user, I also have um, a user can create players. So we'll add the player table. The player has a name. Um, I also want an image and an active flag that should be varchar to one okay so um let's see what it created so player name uh, image but the image that should really be like a blob and like mine type and all that and quick sql has a nice tool called file nice setting for that name that should be um, not null active varchar to one uh, but also a check on strength i only want values yes and no in there and i want a default of yes um, so you see image it has no like the file type it's like file name mine type all the stuff that i need so a player they can play games and i use singular um I single names for my table names, not games. Otherwise, I have to think too too much about like what is the the like the variant and with s. Um, so game start date. Uh, we have a timestamp with local time zone. Start date should be filled in and date. Timestamp with local time zone. Uh, that's it here. Then uh, what do we have? Game uh, details. Order number. So that should be a number. Number three should be enough. That should be not no. Uh, number left. Two. Should be not known either. 
number on the top number two uh, what else do we have uh, response time uh, this should be number five I think you don't have to align it but I like this a bit better so response time mistakes I don't think they will make more than 99 mistakes in one round but so then we had the concept of um, team the team has a name that should be not know uh, the template this should be a file because I want later on that they can um, per team that they can add like their own template uh, and then some preferences okay then what do we have else so we had I have most of it now but I need a table in between player and team so we need to add a player team so we need to add this table uh, the ID that should be not now and from the team we need the ID as well not now Okay, let's see. I think uh, it created that. So play our team and it's created a reference to the other table. So that looks good. So I think we are almost there. Let me create a view as well. Team view. And that should go to player team and player team. where's the view okay so here's my view player team view so that looks good okay I think we are done so we have the role we have the user we have the player the name the image we have game start date and end date game details Order number. We have the team, the template, references. Yeah, I think we are good. So, if you don't know, so it takes a bit of time to understand, uh, to get used to this syntax. Uh, if you don't know it, you can just hit this uh, syntax example, and then um, here are some examples, the data types that you can use. Uh, and all the different things. There's one thing I'm missing, for example, uh, with unique. I typically have a unique constraint on multiple columns. So I'm not sure yet how to do this. It's not documented. Maybe there's an undocumented feature that I'm not aware of. Um, here are my settings. So I typically use um, the settings defined here but you could add it here as well. So I can make some changes here, but uh, I'm not going to do it. So we can save this. Um, so we saved it and we can now copy, we can, we can just copy this version control it, uh, or I can uh, copy this and then uh, run this in my new schema. So I will create a schema Create database schema. Oh, my session expired. Let's run again. So create database schema. Multiplication table schema. Um, multiplication table. Hello, X from Oracle Apex. Define a new dedicated table space. So, create database schema. Okay. 
Okay, so this is done. So let's see in SQL developer if I see it. So let me see here. I should see multiplication table. Okay, and there's no table yet. So let's change our session to uh, have this as the default. Now we can take this script and we can run it here. So it's running and creating all my objects. So if I go to SQL Workshop here, Object Browser, I change to Multiplication Table, and I see Game, Game Details, Player, Role, Team, User. So I think we are good. Um,